I'm Doma T. Pongo with MTV News, and we're in Dusseldorf, Germany, with none other than Tate McRae, who is taking the stage at the Europe Music Awards. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? How do you feel being back in Germany, man? You, you're always here. You just did a couple sold-out shows here. Yeah. What's it like being back? Um, So amazing. I mean, I did my first ever like tour this year uh, and went to all of Europe, and it was amazing. Uh, but yeah, it's really cool to just actually be at the European Music Awards in person this time. Well, your first ever tour, period. Yeah, it was like my first ever like world tour. I did like everything all at once. What will you take from this experience that'll stay with you? Like, I mean, like your first time like seeing your fans in person is a really weird thing. Mm -hmm. I like convinced myself that I just didn't actually have real listeners because I was just like I was looking at numbers for like three years. Right, right. Um, so obviously when I went to like the whole thing sold out and it was just like nuts. How you know to see them scream your lyrics back, it's pretty surreal. And seeing how they actually connect in person with the music and being able to build that connection. Yeah, it's wild. Uh, you you know, when you make that return to the stage and you perform on this EMA stage, what can we expect from this performance? Oof. I'm excited. I mean, this will be like one of my first ever like live in person like music award performances, which is really crazy. Um, so I'm kind of nervous, but this will be my first time kind of like really dancing and mm. um, I'm doing like a mashup of two songs, which will be really fun. Oh, this is going to be exciting. Yeah. You know, but you know, Stan Stranger to award shows. I mean, you were hosting at the VMAs. That's why right. I last saw you when we got <laughs> right. a chance to catch up. What's the biggest difference between presenting, doing the hosting thing and actually getting a chance to take the stage yourself? Oh, it's so different. I yeah. mean, I was really stressed about interviewing people. For real? Oh my gosh. Like, you have to actually talk to people and mingle, um, <laughs> <laughs> um, which was crazy. Um, but it was obviously so fun, yeah. Yeah, well, you're always a trendsetter with the looks as well. Can you give uh -huh. us, tease what you're gonna be rocking when you hit the stage? What, what, what are we wearing? Uh, I don't know how to tease it. It looks like a spicy cat suit or something. That's the perfect <laughs> tease. Like, how are we really gonna imagine what a spicy cat suit really looks like? It's not really a cat suit. It's just like latex and just like, you know. That thing. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire sexy. I like that. That's yeah. That's fire. We'll see what it looks like. It's a look. <laughs> we don't know what it looks like yet. So. <laughs> You're up for uh, Best Canadian Act. What would it mean for you to take that award home? And when you think about past winners, everybody from uh, Justin Bieber, like, what, what does it mean? What would it mean to take that home for, for Canada, man? I mean, I'm just really proud to be from Canada. Like, the group of artists from where I'm from is just wild um so just to be even in the category with such incredible artists is really crazy do you know where you're gonna put your award if it comes home with you um well if i be able justin or drake <laughs> 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 um, probably like in my room or something i haven't thought that far <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you can never happen. know you've been right. having a, a blowout year <laughs> come you. on man thanks <laughs> have you ever had a chance to connect with somebody in awards on this culminating in some work later on yeah i have lots of friends at award shows and I feel like that's the cool part is when you get to work with someone and then you get to see them at these events where there's a lot going on, there's a lot of people around, and then you see someone who you like actually know on a personal level. It's a very like safe, cool feeling. Well, I gotta ask you before I go because I I've been doing a couple of award shows. <laughs> I fell in love with them because it's a rare opportunity to see some of our favorite stars. Who was somebody you saw in the award show that you were surprised that you connected with? Uh, I met Jack Harlow. <laughs> Who's that like? <laughs> that was cool. I mean, there's. I met so many people last year, or even at the VMAs, that I was like really scared of. <laughs> like I was like Anita. I was really terrified to meet her because I'm like she's such a badass. Um, but then obviously, like they're so sweet in real life, and you're all in the same boat, which is cool. Well, Tate McRae is a badass who's also super sweet in real life, and we can't wait to see her and her spicy catsuit right. <laughs> hit the stage <laughs> at the EMAs. But I can't wait to see you kill it. Thank you.